So I just published a package to npm. We can see here is uh, the package right here. I called it tsconfig.json, and I did this 20 minutes ago. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you what I did to publish this. That way you can publish your own modules on npm. So to start off with, you're gonna to need to create an npm account. That way you can actually create a package and they know who you are, who's actually creating the package. So create an account, you can probably do that through the command line, but I just did it through the website. Um, and then after that, I made some changes to my package.json. So that's what I'm gonna start by going over. The first thing is to name your package is gonna be the name property. And this is something that's unique. So I have taken the tsconfig.json package so no one else can use this name. So now you have to pick something that is unique or they won't let you publish it. So if you just go to NPM and you start searching stuff, you can find some unique names um, and pick that as the name of your package. Secondly, the version. So this you can just have it start at 1.0 if you want. And then as you make incremental changes, you can increase the version. Um, and so I have mine at five because I uploaded it five times um, or four times. And now I'm incrementing it to five now. Uh, the next thing is the description. I add one to just what your package is about. This will show up on NPM. Um, then here, the main and the bin are important. So the main is the path to your JavaScript file, the main one. So in this case, I have a source index.js, so I changed it to that. Now underneath that, there's this thing called bin. This is specific for command line uh, packages. So mine is a command line package that when you install it, you're going to execute it like a command line. Like I want you just to be able to type tsconfig and it runs. So to get that functionality to work, you need to create a bin in your package.json and set the source, same thing, mapping to where the start of the command line is. And these can be two different things if you want, I believe. Um, and then in my index.js to get the command line stuff to work, I add this at the very top. Um, so this allows it to be executed by node. Um, script didn't change. Um, I add some keywords for npm. Um, this is for searching so people can find my package. Add an author. Um, I haven't added a, a license yet, but I went ahead and just filled in. I'm going to pick an MIT license, and I'm going to go through how you can add a license if you want to um, in a second. Um, dependencies, this was added for me when I added inquire. And then I added these three things here. So repository, um, I point this to my GitHub repository. And you can get, you'll notice this is just the URL to the repository and then dot git at the end and git plus at the beginning. Here I have a URL to where you can go fill out bugs for it. So I add that and that's just my GitHub slash issues. And then the homepage is just the tsconfig.json slash readme or hashtag readme. Um, so that's it. So I add these things to my package.json. And then after that, a note, these are not all mandatory fields. Um, the ones that I would say are required are the name, the version, main, and bin. Uh, the other stuff, and I don't know if license is required or not. You may be able to leave that off. The other stuff is just extra info to let people know about your package. So after you've done that, you can either run, I believe, npm login. Um, which I've already logged in with. And after that, use the credentials you use to sign up and we can say npm publish. Um, and so this is going to send our package up to npm. So here I just republished my package. Um, so now I just publish version 1.0.5. So what do, we, what, what do we do if we wanna say, uh, make a change and republish this? How does this work? Um, well, two things. So let's say I want to go to GitHub. I was going to show you guys how you can add a license um, pretty easily. So what I usually do when I want to just create a license is I'll just go to GitHub. So here's my tsconvig GitHub. Create a new file. And then if you type the word license, there's a little choose license template that pops up on GitHub. And then I pick the one that I want. In this case, I want the MIT license. And this is correct, so I'm going to review and submit. And we'll commit this file. So now I have a license. Oh, it makes me do a pull request, okay. And merge it. 
All right, so we just merged this pull request and I also got another pull request. So I'm gonna go ahead and merge this because I like the changes that he added. So we're gonna merge this. And now I've made some changes to the TS config on GitHub. I'm going to pull this down. And oh, it looks like I need to commit first. So save this, add info to package.json for publishing to npm. Now we're gonna pull those changes and automatic merge failed. Oh fun, so now we get to do a, a merge. So if you've never done a merge on a merge conflict on VS Code, it's actually pretty nice. So you can see these are the things that I actually need to go in and manually fix. So in this case, this index.js file. And here I can see the changes that the uh, or the, where the conflict is. So here you can see this is the current change and looks like the incoming doesn't have anything there. I'm gonna go ahead and accept the current change because this is what I want. Um, and save. Oh, you know what? It double adds inquire. I just control Z by the way um, to re-add this. Yeah, I think I still do that and I just delete it like this. Maybe there's a better one of the buttons I'm supposed to pick, um, but there we go. Now we're merged. So we'll add this, say merge. And what is this complaining about? I'm just going to restart, even though this is a JS file, I'm not sure why the TypeScript server was up. All right, we're good. Say merge. And I need to increment the version. If I try publishing this to NPM, we'll get forbidden, it cannot publish over previous published version. So we'll just increment this to 1.0.6 and we'll publish up. And so I just added a whole bunch of info to my package.json. So in the TS config, you can come over here. If we click on this, we can see where all the info shows up. For example, it now links to GitHub. You can see the Git repository and so on. You can see the keywords and whatnot. I need to actually make a better readme, uh, but there you go. That is how you publish a package to NPM. Now, after you actually do this, how do we actually use this, right? So it's actually really easy now. Now that they have this cool, this tool called MPX, um, all you have to do is MPX, then the name of your package, and it's gonna execute it for you. So this is specific to uh, command line packages. Again, you can just install your package like this too, um, but ours is a command line one, so we can run it like this. So it's gonna install it and then it's gonna execute it right away. MPX is an NPM thing. And here it's asking us for the framework. I'm going to pick node and we see it created the TS config for us, so cool. And then here you can see the TS config that got generated. So awesome, so our package is now live and anyone can run this command. So you watching right now can run this command and you can run my package and it should create a TS config file on your computer for you. So there you go, that is publishing an NPM package.